democracy. So you expect the court to give us the reasons I am along with the judgment so that it enables the country to understand the basis of their finding. So this re these reasons will be waiting for them. But in the meantime, um, the legal team had of course prepared the contingent plan. They were aware that uh, such a, a result may come out. And um, the next steps definitely will be announcing them to you in due course. We will be inviting you to a press conference where we will inform the nation of the next step. But we are saying that uh, on behalf of President Sylvia Mantikasupere, this is not the end of the road. We are going to be pursuing the fight for him to remain on that ballot. And for the citizens of this country to be given the opportunity to vote for him. Okay. Um, as the chief elections uh, agent for candidate Kasukwere. We have seen his posters, they've been taken down. Is this, was this or upon your instruction? What's what's transpiring? We have seen an unprecedented attack against the candidature of Pesin Sevian Kasukwere. As can be witnessed from this current court case that we have, that's part of the persecution that has been happening. We've seen a threat to clamp down on uh, billboards, um, which we saw as an immediate response to the billboards that were put up on behalf of President Sylvia Kasukwere. So these, the pulling down of the billboards is not on our instruction. It is an attack on our campaign and we'll be taking legal um, recourse and due course. I want to ask if, did they mention when they will um, no, unfortunately they did not. And as I said before, in a matter of such public importance, it would have been prudent for the court to hand down its judgment together with the reasons for the judgment. Since that we are 20 something days before the election, we are not running out of time. I think yes, I have answered this question before. We are not running out of time. This is a quest, this is a fight that we should fight even after the eve of the election. When we are fighting for justice and when we are fighting for democracy, the right of the Zimbabwe to participate in the election and the right of Zimbabweans to choose the candidate of their choice, which is being tempered by a few individuals in the courts, we can fight and we should fight to the end. We should not give up. So given what is happening right now, do you have a time frame when uh, Sylvia Kasukwere will start campaigning for this election? President Sylvia Kasukwere has already started campaigning. Yes, he is an independent candidate, but the candidature is not just about a single person. It's about an entire team. We are working flat out on the ground to mobilize and to coordinate people to vote for President Sylvia Kasukwere come 23 August. So whilst the legal battle is ongoing, we are not saying that the mobilization and the coordination of our ground team, of our campaign team, has stopped. It has still been ongoing and it will still continue to, to go ahead whilst we wait the legal processes. How effective are these campaigns considering it's not illegal? It has been very effective. The feedback has been phenomenal. We have uh, a lot of people who are volunteering to participate in many, many ways in offering their services and offering their support. And we are grateful to Zimbabweans for their support. We thank them and continue to ask them to rally behind President Zephyr Kasubele in his presidential campaign. Thank you.